March 1, 1965, John Hewlett, his wife, a group of 39 others that he had been talking to decide that we're gonna go down to the county courthouse and see if we can't get registered to vote. He goes right into the registrar's office, Carl Golson, you know, big old former football player, car dealer. You know, he's one of the county registrars. And, and he sees Hewlett and he's the other black man barge in, don't you know how to knock? And he was like, I, I didn't come here to knock. I came here to register to vote. I mean, that's throwing down the gauntlet. You know, Golson can't do anything but throw him out. He also says, if y'all are serious, y'all want to register, y'all want to do this, then leave all your names. We want to know who's showing up. Which of y'all have the gall to challenge white power? They were literally putting their lives on the line. Every single one of those folks who showed up, they put their names on a sheet of paper and they brought it back and they gave it to Golson and said, this is who we are. And then two weeks later, a slightly larger group show up again, saying, look, we're back, right? You have our names, you sent people to visit us, we lost some loans, we lost some business, but we're back. And then after that second meeting, they realized, if we're gonna do this, then we need to be organized. And so in late March, they formed the Lowndes County Christian Movement for Human Rights. 